Today's psalm is Psalm 28. Like we did yesterday, I'm going to read just a couple of verses from it, 1 and 2, and then 6 and 8. To you, O Lord, I call. Be my rock, be not deaf to me. Lest, if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. The word of the Lord. Psalm 28 is a psalm that calls us to look within ourselves. And today, first, I'm going to look back to May of 1922. A man, a pastor named Harry Emerson Fosdick, preached a sermon, Shall the Fundamentalist Win? which was immediately followed by a fundamentalist pastor preaching a sermon, Shall the Liberals Win? And today, and I, and I say this, I trust with a degree of humor for many millennials are my friends, but shall the millennials win? This time is a time of change. Everything has changed. This time has a very different feel to it. Whether it's going to continue or not, we don't know. But right now, things are different and unsettled. Some of us are still in a period of denial. This isn't really happening, you know. We'll wake up in the morning and it'll be gone. Some are mourning for the past that they fear will never return. And some see this as a time of great opportunity. I have a friend that launched a whole new business online and he's too busy to do anything. What I have noticed as time passes, is that I am replacing old activities with new ones. And in some cases, there's far more available than there was before. Used to go to a gym. Now the programming I use is online. The workouts are different. They're difficult. They're challenging. There's a sense of community, of interaction online. It is, to a degree, exciting. I've also noticed, again with a smile, meetings are shorter, they're more efficient. Oh, and there's far fewer of them. And I either have or I'm taking time to read. The Brothers Karamazov may yet be read. I'm over halfway through. And I have a whole new reading list, different authors, different subjects, different realities. And I believe I'm communicating more, not less. And I am wondering how much of this will continue as we go forward. Did we suddenly get yanked into a new world and will never return? Some people think this. Some people think that two weeks after the restrictions are lifted, we'll be back to normal and it's like this had never happened because two weeks, you see, are sufficient to form a habit. And now we like what we're doing. The phone and the laptop have 
replaced most of our communication needs as they have for the whole younger generations coming up who already work from home, who already think meetings are a waste of time. Will we retreat further into sub subjectivity on the World Wide Web? I don't know. But I do think things will be different. And we need, we'll need to take time to reflect and to learn and to ask what happened, what are we going to do, and most importantly, why? Psalm 28 reminds us of the most important factor in our lives, and this is one we do not want to lose now or ever. Our psalmist begins, To you, O Lord, I call. Do not be silent to me. Silence goes both ways. It can seem that God is silent to us, but very often it is that we are the ones who are not listening. Reality is God is never silent. God is always speaking. God is always seeking. God is always present to us. There are times the mystics tell us when it seems as if God has withdrawn, but the reality is God is even closer in those times. If God is silent, it's on my side. So now, as we form new patterns of living, it's important to keep our own personal contact with God in place, our devotional life, our prayer life. It's time to be careful that we continue to spend our daily time with God. We will then be blessed by the Lord. He hears us. He is our strength. Let us pray. Eternal God, you call us to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.